Throughout our history, Hispanic Americans have defended our nation with pride and with courage. We were there during the American Revolution. Hispanics fought side by side with other Texans at the Alamo during the war for Texas independence. During the Civil War, the 1st Battalion was comprised of four companies of native Mexican-American Californians in order to take advantage of their extraordinary horsemanship. Approximately 4,000 Mexican-Americans from New Mexico volunteered during the Civil War. The most famous Hispanic Civil War participant was Admiral David Faragut. Hispanics served with the Rough Riders under Lieutenant Colonel Theodore Roosevelt. Hispanic Americans were part of a contingent of Marines sent to defend the Peking legions against the Boxers until the arrival of the Allied Army. Although no figures are known as to how many Hispanics served in our forces during World War I, there is no doubt that we did serve and that we served with honor. The number of Hispanics who served in the armed forces during World War II is unknown, but estimates of between 250,000 to 500,000 have been made. Based on these estimates of participation per capita, Hispanics received more medals of honor during World War II than any other identifiable ethnic group. Throughout the Korean conflict, Hispanics served with distinction in all the services and achieved a truly notable and honorable record. During the Vietnam era, Hispanics again proved their unwavering patriotism by responding to the call of duty with passion and with emotion. Hispanics consistently demonstrated a strong sense of integrity, courage, and professionalism, character traits that epitomize our Hispanic cultural definition of duty, honor, and country. In Vietnam, Hispanics were the first in and the last ones out. Most of our brave, gallant Hispanic warriors lived in our barrios and our colonias as second-class citizens, yet they died as first-class heroes in that faraway land. Hispanics have indeed paid dearly for America's glory, and thus we have earned the right to be true Americans economically, politically, and socially. Hispanics have shed blood all over the world, and 37 Hispanic Americans have received the nation's top award for valor, the Medal of Honor. The stories of this Hispanic Americans account for some of the most astonishing acts of bravery and personal sacrifice in the history of our armed forces. Hispanics take special pride in that no turncoat has ever existed within our ranks. All Americans can take heartfelt pride in our illustrious record. Today, the United States Air Force is proud to pay special tribute to the Hispanic American recipients of the Medal of Honor. With the American flag as their badge of freedom and a rallying cry rooted deeply in their hearts, echoing the battle hymn of the Republic, these 37 heroes have provided us with a moving testament to the universality of the human thirst for freedom. Our honor roll begins with the American Civil War. Philip Bazar, the first Hispanic Medal of Honor recipient. 
John Ortega. In China, during the Boxer Rebellion, France Silva. During World War I, David Barkley. World War II, Luciana Adams. Marcario Garcia. Harold Gonsalves. David M. Gonzalez. Silvestre S. Herrera. Jose M. Lopez. Joe P. Martinez. Manuel Perez Jr. Cleto Rodriguez. Alejandro R. Ruiz. Jose F. Valdez. Ismael R. Villegas. The Korean conflict. Fernando Luis Garcia. Edward Gomez. Ambrosio Guillén. Rodolfo B. Hernández. Baldomero López. Benito Martinez, Eugene Arnold Obregón, Joseph C. Rodriguez, the Vietnam era, Emilio A. de la Garza. Junior, Ralph E. Diaz, Daniel Fernandez, Alfredo Gonzalez, Jose Francisco Jimenez, Miguel. Hernandez Keith. Carlos James Lozado. Luis R. Rocco. Eurípides Rubio. Hector Santiago Colón. Máximo Llaves. J. R. Vargas Jr. Roy P. Benavides. All Americans owe a special debt of gratitude, a debt we can never truly repay, to these 37 Hispanic American heroes for their contributions, for their sacrifices, and for their bravery. They defended us with their very lives. For their selfless devotion to the United States, we salute them all today y para siempre.